Doing what? What's up, puppy? <laughs> so guys, I'm here with my puppy, Flavia. <laughs> now, guys, I want to show you something. This is how I, actually, first of all, this is a hot dog bun. It's huge, and then they just like cut it in half. It's like this, and then they cut it in half, and that's your hot dog bun. And then, they have this, kind of like when you eat chili in the US, but this is not chili. This is like, this is pasta sauce. This is tomato sauce. And they put tomato sauce on the hot dogs, and then you slap it in there, and then it, it puts some uh, mayo with no, garlic. Just mayo, not everybody put with garlic. Oh, okay, not everybody. But I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys that it's, their hot dogs are very different. I don't know where hot dogs are from, but they do a lot of hot dogs here. As we came to the Mercado, uh, which is a market, an open market, not an open market, but just a market. And um, this is your typical Brazilian setup for food right here. You get everything, you put it on your plate, and then they wait it. There's something that I don't think I've ever talked about being here in Brazil, and it's the napkins. The napkins here are very shitty. They're like plastic. Hey, look at this. This is like wax paper, so they don't absorb anything. So if you go like this, nothing gets taken off your mouth. And I don't know what he do, because then you have to use like 10 of these to do what one napkin would do. So uh, that's one of the things about Brazil. Most restaurants. No, there's restaurants that have regular napkins, but most of them have this crap. Check it out guys, we are back at this place. I've been here like probably five times already. What can you do when you're here for a month, more than a month? Nothing. We're here with Flavia, and we're gonna go up to the tower. I've never been up there, so hopefully it's open. So guys, let's see all the places that we've been to in this month that I've been here. There's the mall right there. I've been to that mall with Nick and Thais. And then there's the bridge over there. And then there's the government buildings, the Senate and the Congress. Congress, right? I've been to the fountains. I've been to that I love Brazilian song. I was staying in Lago Norte over there with Enrique. The cathedral. the cathedral that I went with Flavio. The central station, I've been there a lot. The bus station, that's the central bus station. The theater. The what? The theater, the theater over there. The central bank? Yeah, central bank is that building right there. I've been everywhere. Where else? Oh, I've been to that. Yeah, all the tower. The tower. Flavia says that I haven't been there. Well, she apparently hasn't seen my latest videos where I went to that tower with Rafael. Yes. Get out, guys. This is a different view of the city. That's the Parque de la Ciudad, city park, where we went running. And then there's the, that fair for kids. And then all the way over there, see what those buildings, those tall buildings over there? You think that's an actual city? Well, that's, I was clear, so that's where Rafael lives. And then over there, there's a ghetto where Flavia lives. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I was just joking. All right, guys, so on this side, we have the stadium. This is actually probably the best view I've had of the stadium. So, uh, I might take a picture of it. And then there's a convention center. And then the JK building, it's all the way over there. M Memorial, whatever. If you go over there, there's a track, the racing track. And then that's where we went to watch the movie the other day on the... You can see the screen. Yeah, you can see the screen, or the white screen right there. And then this is a market, like an open market for tourists. Fair. Fair. Then that, it's like a... It's also a stadium for... Gymnasium. Oh, okay. And then the army is over there, right? Where's the army? Complex. The army complex is like more over there. Brazilian security, hard at work. They gotta look good. Not only the hair has to look good, the nails have to match the hair. So we're coming to this... Uh, some religious center. Which looks really nice, like everything. The architecture is very nice. We're gonna check it out and maybe later go to the cemetery <laughs> and make out on someone's tomb. Okay, for me. <laughs> so this is the place, you guys. So this temple, guys. There's um, 
There's a Jesus on the top of that, and a Cristo on top of that pyramid looking thing. We still don't know exactly what kind of religion this is. It's like some Christian. Uh, we'll find out. Can we go in? So guys, this is the temple from the inside. And the lady was explaining us everything that goes on here. That you're supposed to walk on the dark side. So you get to the center and then there's like a prison or something, like some... No, like the crystal, you renew your energies. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, and when you are walking the black side, you have to think about your problems, your things that you want to get over. Mm -hmm. And then you come there and you get the energy of the crystal and then walk on the white side, like a new beginning. So as you guys saw, there's a lot of religions. They, they accept every religion, religion here. They think that all religions are acceptable and they should be together. From what you saw over there. They had Egyptian stuff. Which, you know, you start to think, man, that's weird. Like, it's a weird religion. But if you think about it, it's not as weird as the other religions. <laughs> like, every religion is freaking weird. So this is actually not that bad. All they do is they just believe in all of them. I think unity. I'll set it in the video. Got a good old JC right here. Bouncing. I do not understand this one. That's Gandhi and what? Who's this guy right here? Whoa, that's weird. So guys, that was very interesting. Kind of like when I went to that other spiritualism thing with my other host. It's very, it's very interesting to know about it. They have so many things that you're like, what? And I would like to know more about it, but they only have like... Well, they had books there. But they made me wear pants too. They wouldn't <laughs> let me like go with my shorts. So they have pants there that you have to wear. But yeah, I do suggest coming here if you come to Brasilia to check it out. Because it looks like it's very important. And I think it might be like... Even other countries might know about this. There is institutions like this in all countries. Oh, okay. This is probably the most organized cemetery I've ever been to. Well, actually, I've never been to an American cemetery, but I've been to the Latin American ones. And this is some awesome organization right here. So, guys, remember Flavia wants to take lessons, motorcycle license. Well, she wants to have a motorcycle license and ride motorcycles. We came here to the class. This whole parking lot is made for this. Usually in the U.S. there's like a parking lot that they use for, that they, uh, that they rent out and they do it on the weekends, but it looks like this whole thing is just for the motorcycle test and the classes. So there's this motorcycle right here is the Honda, the 125 or 150 cc, maybe 125. It's the most sold bike in Latin America. So if you have this bike, you can find parts anywhere, anywhere in Latin America, very easily and cheaply. This guy is gonna teach Flavia. He just showed her the course. We walked around it, and I think they're gonna make her ride right away, which is kind of weird. I hope not. I mean, well, she knows how to ride a bicycle, but I don't think she's ever even read about. She hasn't taken the sit-down class. 
think they're just gonna start it off right right away on the motorcycle. So Flavia and Rafael, her cousin, they were telling me that they don't teach them how to switch gears. They always ride on first gear, I think. So even after they pass the class, a lot of people don't even know how to ride. Because once they go on the streets, they don't know how to switch gears. Which, you know, it's not that bad. You can learn that in a day, but I think that's kind of weird. I'm not, I'm not really sure how they do it in the US. If they do the same thing where you can only ride on first gear. The classes right here, the motorcycle classes are right next to this mall. It's called the Popular, Popular Mall. Now, popular in all of Latin America is like the same as in the US, popular, but it also means uh, for the low income people. So when you go to a place that says that is popular, it means that it's for like the, the poorer people in that country. Now, what you will expect in this mall is like a lot of Chinese made stuff, a lot of cheap stuff. So that's what a lot of people come here for, electronics. Chinese stuff. As we can see, it's all closed. So what this used to be is like all the all the shoppers that used to have uh, businesses out on the street, they moved them into this shopping mall, so there wouldn't be any legal um, people sh selling stuff at the street. So this is where they're supposed to sell all their stuff. But everything, everything is closed. Guys, we came to Walmart, Walmart Brazil. I've never been to Walmart in Brazil, so we I really really wanted to come to one. Because since everything in Brazil is like very expensive, I want to see how cheap. Because you know Walmart's and they just are supposed to be cheap, but everyone else everywhere outside of the US they're expensive. So I'm guessing this place is gonna be really expensive. So let's check it out. As always, 87 reales for an absolute, which is like forty dollars. One liter. But then you can come down here and buy some Polak, which is $7.99. But people say that not